Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week, it's a rather nauseating question. My name is Anita from Surrey. Given the length of a giraffe's neck, does it have trouble throwing up? Do giraffes get over gravity as easily as the average Saturday night binge drinker? Good evening, yes. My name is Alan Williams. I'm a professor of veterinary pathology at the vet school here in Cambridge. Well, yes, that's a really uh, interesting question. And the answer is sort of yes and no. If you think about the giraffe's stomach, it's very similar to that of a cow, and it's much more complicated than ours. So a giraffe's stomach has four chambers. The first and second compartment are really big fermentation vats, and the true stomach, their equivalent of our stomach, is the fourth chamber. So when we vomit, the vomit comes out of our stomach and then up the esophagus and obviously out of our mouth. In a giraffe, it would come out of the fourth stomach and it would sort of bypass the third stomach and go into the first and second. And it's extremely rare for the vomit then to go any further than that. So in a sense, giraffes, yes, can vomit, but it's, as I say, very, very rare that it actually comes out of their mouth. Giraffes may vomit, but generally this would be from the fourth stomach into the second. What could make it throw up in a way that was more visually similar to a human? My name is Dr Jonathan Holmes, and I have been teaching veterinary anatomy at Cambridge University for 35 years. I am not an expert on giraffes as such, but, of course, they are ruminants, like cows and sheep and other types of antelope. That is to say, they chew the cud. They have the capacity to regurgitate food from the main part of the stomach, the rumen, up to their mouths for further chewing to help the digestive process. So the esophagus, the food pipe of giraffes, quite naturally and frequently works in reverse to bring food up to the mouth. There is nothing physical that would stop it being sick. There are some plants that can make cows sick. One is a small herb called cowbane, Another is the rhododendron. It is not common, but cows that have been eating rhododendrons can be sick, and we must bear in mind that the capacity of a big cow's rumen is anything up to 250 litres, 50 or 60 gallons. So this can be a spectacular sight, especially if a whole herd of cows have found a rhododendron clump. I'm sure there are circumstances which could make a giraffe sick in the same way. So there you go. Giraffes do regularly regurgitate food up their very long necks, though it's not quite the same as vomiting. Jonathan also added that giraffe vomit from the rumen would be quite different from our own, since the rumen contents aren't acidic. Rob Moore on the forum said that giraffes require more pressure to send the food up to the mouth and that the added pressure can cause health problems, especially during sedation. On Twitter, Doc Turbo said that surely if they really need to, they just lower their heads to the ground like any first-year student. Well, if all that doesn't make you shudder, what about this? Hello, this is Eugeny from Russia, and here is my warm question from cold Russia. Human is a warm-blooded animal, but I want to know how does human's body heat itself? Thank you. How do we turn cake into insulation? How do we keep warm? Answers to Chris at thenakedscientists.com. You can join us on the forum at thenakedscientists.com forward slash forum. You can Facebook us or you can Twitter at Naked Scientists. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.